high. Okay, so basically I'm waking up early to film because people from the apartment are coming to test all the fire alarms in my apartment and I don't know when they're coming and I don't want to be filming while they're here. So hopefully they don't get here within the next like two hours because that's when I'm going to be filming. Yeah, let me set something up and actually um, look more presentable than this, so hold on. Today I'm going to be doing a 30 minute glow up challenge. Basically, I'm going to try to get ready for the day in 30 minutes. Normally this routine takes me at least two hours because I'm really slow at getting ready and it just takes me so long to actually get out of bed and start my day. But I woke up early for this. Also, as you can see, I literally just woke up. That's why my bed isn't made. So hold on while I do that. All right, I feel like that's a little bit better. I'm going to be setting a timer on my phone and <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can do a list of things to get myself ready for the day as fast as possible. Hopefully in 30 minutes, we'll see how it goes, but that's the goal. I really need to get on my rut of sleeping in and then taking forever to get ready for the day. So hopefully this will help in some sort of way. The first thing I'm going to do is shower and then do my hair, whether that's blow drying it, styling it or whatever. Makeup, I need to, you know, do something to fix what's going on here. I'm going to pick an outfit and it has to be something actually cute. Because normally I just wear sweatpants or jeans and a t-shirt or something really basic and boring. Honestly, I can only go up from here. I'm starting out really low. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I guess I'll show you what I'm wearing so you can see how I am starting out. We'll go from head to toe. Right now, I um, have my natural hair. I think I washed it two days ago. I don't know, honestly. My eyebrows an absolute mess. I definitely need to fix that somehow. My face kind of speaks for itself. I have a lot of like red spots and like pimples forming on my face. That's amazing. Yay for me. Next, I am just wearing a t-shirt that I went to bed in. I'm wearing sweatpants. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do this all in half an hour. We're gonna try to glow up in half an hour. I'm really nervous. <laughs> We're gonna start this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it and it's gonna happen. Um... I guess I'm going to start the timer and take my shower and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, so I'm back from my shower and I'm going to quickly put on a just really boring outfit while I do my makeup so that I'm not naked because we don't need that. I really don't. Just got done changing. My hair looks absolutely atrocious. Um, I grabbed my hair dryer. I believe it's on the floor um, next to my mirror in my bedroom. Some heat spray and then brush. So we're about 10 minutes in so far. <clears throat> I have everything ready. God, my mirrors are really dirty, but I just finished setting up my little armature setup for this because I don't have a lot of time. So I am going to quickly blow dry my hair. Hopefully I can do it in a really short amount of time. Here we go, plug this in. I was gonna use the bathroom, but it was really foggy, so I didn't really have the time for it to unfog so I could film it. I'm just using this Break Fix um, heat protectant spray. As you can see, my hair is kind of trash. Um, brush my hair out a little bit, and then I know you're not supposed to brush it when it's wet. Sometimes I do anyway, just a little bit, not like anything that's gonna pull my hair out. I have about 17 minutes left on the timer. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this uh, because I still have to style my hair after I blow dry it. Yeah, I know I said I'm not gonna brush my hair thoroughly, but here we are. Um, sorry, let me just move the camera. Oh my gosh, my hands are still slimy. Please, please. 
please work. Please hands. Are you kidding? Okay. I'm running out of time. Okay. All right, now for the blow drying um, montage, if you will. So basically I'm just blow drying my hair here. It's nothing interesting except me trying to not show that I'm stressing for time because I took way too long in the shower and to get ready and to get set up. And now I'm kind of screwing myself over here. Okay, this section is actually pretty dry, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Now we're gonna do the top layer. Hi, welcome to the second blow drying montage. Obviously, this is really entertaining to watch. No, it's not, I'm completely lying. This is really boring because I'm taking this way too seriously and I need to giddy up and hurry up. And now I'm about to freak out because I have 12 minutes left. So that's really nice for me, which is obviously my own fault for taking so long in this stupid shower. Okay, I'm gonna brush my hair out and then see if it's dry enough that I can quickly grab my straightener and just fix it a little bit. Yeah, that's not that bad. Not that bad. It's fine. I use the Nishin Professional Styler. Um, I'm not gonna explain too much about it just because I have to get this done. So we're gonna set it to 340 degrees. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this protectant spray on. I know you normally do it when your hair is damp, but I sometimes do it like a little bit before I style my hair as well if it's dry. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be used either, but that's how I use it and that's what I do. I normally section it off kind of like how I blow dry it. I normally do like three sections though, um, just so that I get like every single piece straightened. But right now we're just gonna do it the fast and efficient way. Yeah. yeah. I'm nervous I'm not gonna be able to do this in time. I have eight and a half minutes on the timer. My hair is so frizzy, it's not even funny. Like, are you kidding? I feel like there's not really a huge difference. It looks a little less frizzy though, like just slightly. Maybe, maybe that's just me. I only spend like two minutes max straightening my hair and it absolutely looks like a trash can. Why? Why is it so frizzy? What did I do to deserve this? I gotta speed up the process, okay. My hair is like still really damp in the back. You know what? We're just gonna not really worry about it because I don't have time. So let me just turn this off. Also, um, do you see that spot on my mirror? I honestly did not know that that was there until I was editing and I can't do anything about it. So I'm sorry about that. It's really pissing me off, honestly. I just can't remove it. Normally I do a lot um, better of a job when I am um, straightening my hair. It normally looks a lot better than this. This looks pretty bad, but we just gotta make sure we get everything done. And I have six and a half minutes left to do it, so. Hello there. Um, okay, so the next thing to do is makeup. Normally I don't do this, but because this is a glow up, I need to do something for myself. I am first going to use this moisturizer from Neutrogena. It's an oil-free moisturizer. Um, it's for sensitive skin, which is what I have. I don't really put it on like nicely like other people do. They like put little dots on their face and rub it in and yeah, I'm sure that's probably how you're supposed to do that. But I kind of just go ham at it. I feel like I gotta keep rubbing it in because it's kind of like not, makeup's not gonna stick to it. <sighs> Come on, please dry. <laughs> I'm getting stressed. I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. So I'm just gonna be doing a really basic look. I'm gonna use this primer from e.l.f. that I got a really long time ago. It's really old, probably expired, but you know, it's fine. I think when I am under pressure, I just do things really like lazy and I'm really sloppy. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation i don't normally wear foundations like i'm just not like everyone else i used to wear bb cream all the time but um i think it was starting to make my face break out i don't know it could have been something else but i just wanted to go um i'm gonna just try it that's so dark on my face okay so i have this really light concealer um that i use with it because this foundation is obviously like three shades darker than my skin so i have a concealer that's a lot lighter than my skin and yeah i know it's not a foundation but i kind of just like 
mix it in in general. I put it on my highlight. What is it called? Is it called like highlight points? I don't freaking know. When it mixes in, it will kind of be closer to my shade. If that makes sense. We're gonna have to really touch this up. I'm really trying to do this fast. I think I've always used brushes. I've tried to use beauty blenders, but I just haven't gotten the hang of it, honestly. Not that I'm good at using brushes either. Okay. Um, I'm completely running out of time and I think I'm gonna go over soon. I have, jeez, three and a half minutes left. Um, I have three and a half minutes left and I still have to pick an outfit. I still have to do my eyeshadow. I have to do literally everything. So I'm going to be doing a really basic eyeshadow. I also suck at eyeshadow, by the way. I feel like I need like somebody else to do my makeup. That probably sounds really petty, but anyways, I'm taking I have this naked palette. I'm not even gonna tell you how old this thing is. I just took the nude color in the palette, put it on my lid, then I took the medium brown color and put it on my crease and attempted to blend them out. This is really bad. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, I don't know if that really did anything for me. I have the Santa Monica palette. I got it in my stocking for Christmas. I'm not sure where it's from. I like to do blush, so we're gonna do a little bit of blush. Hopefully that will bring back color in my face. Hopefully not too much that I look like a clown. We're just gonna keep blending it in. Then I'm going to go in and use a little bit of the Anastasia Moonchild palette for my highlighter. All right, so I have one and a half minutes left. Um, I think I'm just going to skip to mascara. I didn't do my eyebrows. Mascara, I use the Benefit Roller Lash. I love this mascara. The first mascara that I've used that doesn't really make my eyelashes clump. I have 45 seconds left. I'm I feel like my lips are really foundation-y. I'm gonna pause it. It's at, oh my gosh, my phone literally just glitched. Um, so I'm gonna add like five seconds to my timer. Um, so it's at 40 seconds. I'm going to clean up really, really quick. I have 40 seconds to pick out an outfit, 40 seconds. Normally this takes me like an hour, at least half an hour, half an hour to an hour to figure out what I'm gonna wear. So I paused it just so I can move my stuff. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer now. Okay, so it's about 60-ish degrees outside. Um, this is my sweaters, these are my long sleeves. So I'm gonna go with my long sleeves. Um, now, this, this is a little cardigan, it's lime green. Throw that on the floor. Um, I need a tank top underneath. And I guess I'll do a crop top, so 16 seconds. This is what I'm gonna wear. It's really dark, but here are my jeans. Um, I'm going to pick out some mom jeans. These ones will be fine. Also, they're just easy access right now. Oh my gosh, my stupid drawer is not closing. Okay, and... My timer just went out. I love that we're sideways here. I guess in 30 minutes, besides me positioning the cameras and stuff, what I have here is literally just my hair and makeup done. I'm still gonna put the clothes on. I'm actually kind of scared because I have never worn the green cardigan before. I hope it fits. It literally still has the tags on it. I tried it on once, but I kind of forget how it looks. Okay, so here is the outfit. I don't know if I'm a fan of what it looks like. Maybe I just don't like how it looks on me. I think this is a little bit tight. I'll show you the back. Oh well, I think here's the tag. I think I got this from Zara. This is from H&M and these are American Eagle. So I think the back of my hair is not straightened, but we're gonna, we're just gonna ignore that fact. Okay. I know this background is really not interesting. This is probably a bad place to end my video, but I'm a little lazy and kind of tired and I wanna eat breakfast. So I'm gonna finish it up here anyway. I think it probably took me 35 minutes with putting everything on. Besides the time for me adjusting all the camera angles and like cleaning up 
to move to like the next place I was gonna film. I think I um, did have a little glow up. I don't know, what do you think? be fully honest especially with the makeup part because i know that that part was pretty rough i don't know about this outfit still i like the color but i just like don't know if i like it on me i probably went from like a two and a half to like maybe a seven maybe a seven and a half that frizzy hair is really getting me though Jeez. <laughs> i literally didn't really straighten the back this just goes to show that if you want to have a quick glow up, it doesn't have to take an entire day. It doesn't even have to take two or three hours. It can if you want to look, you know, your absolute best. But if you just want to start your day and feel a little bit better about yourself and you don't mind rushing throughout that morning to get things done, then it's possible. This was fun. I'm glad that I was able to do this, even though I didn't pass the challenge. Um, I was just a few minutes short, which is fine. I wasn't really expecting to exceed my expectations. I had pretty low expectations though, so that's all I have for you today. Yeah, let me know if you wanna see something else like this. Have a good day. Have a good morning, day, evening, midday, week, month, life. Okay, bye friends.